Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the Ant. <laughs> hello, Archie. Hello there. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <coughs> Timmy! Oh, no. Gaston, spit Timmy out. <coughs> Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? <coughs> <laughs> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly! Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time! Good show! Well done, Archie! Nice posture, Stanley! <laughs> She's funny! Chin up, Bobby! That's better! Let's face the future like we mean it! Aha! A new pet! Wonderful! Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well, oh. Now, Mr Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He ha This is a job for Old Grey Wolf. ow -oo! Lead the way, Gaston. Well, well. Is this mountain far? Still further? Oh, are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say... Awoo! OK. Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Uh -oh. Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I, I set off in, in a bit of a hurry and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to, but he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, thank you, Old Grey Wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the Fox Cubs Hour of Need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? Gaston, of course. <laughs> Gaston to the rescue! Oh. It's a terrible signal. Why is old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, 
Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Up aboard. If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away! And what are we? We're elves! Baby Plums is up so fun! The elves are here! What's the emergency? It's the twins! Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf! Goodness me, Mrs Elf! I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible! Oh, no! The twins have made all the elves invisible! Uh, who's going to help us now? Hmm. It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. Uh. Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Ah! Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Elf Rescue. Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. Mm. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. Hey, OK. Lower the mole. Lowering mole. Launch mole. Launching mole. Good. The mole can dig up the brambles. Don't worry, Mrs. Cow. We'll have you out of there in no time. Dum, la -di dum. Ah! Elf rescue. Help! Help me, Elf rescue. Nanny Palum, I told you. Elf Rescue is for emergencies. This is an emergency. I'm stuck. Stuck with what? A tricky jigsaw? No, in the mud. Oh, Mr Elf, you take over the cow rescue. I'll deal with Nanny Plum. Right-o. 
I can't believe I got stuck in mud. What a day. Never mind. Elf Rescue will be here in a minute and then it'll be tea and biscuits on the ride home. So, you are stuck. Of course I'm stuck. What did you think? Can't you use magic to get yourself out? No, my wand's over there. I see. Where at Elf Rescue? Are there any biscuits left? We don't need a rocket to pull you out of a puddle, Nanny Plum. It's not a puddle. It's very deep mud. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just pull you out. Oh, it's very deep mud. Told you. No problem. I'll call Elf Rescue. I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy. Psst, Lucy. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother. Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh... Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, oh Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky, but oh no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Oh! <gasps> Guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf. Oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. Everybody ready? Ready! Go, go, go! Whee! Whee! <laughs> 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 wow! Gaston was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, well, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. Well, well. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. <laughs> Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello? Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, 
We're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre, in a pot of daffodils. Ah, wise old elf. I'm looking for a job. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the Elf Job Centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Naim. The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The King. Any skills? Being King. Mm, we don't have a King job right now. Um, We need a toy factory worker or a farmer or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the King! Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way's starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Commandant ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. Right. This wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm, let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. <coughs> Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. Goodness, what a lot of noise. Take it away. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no, it's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh... Will you have a fairy cake? Well, all right. <laughs> Whoa! I'm flying! Put me down! Oh, well, if you insist. 
Magic always leads to trouble. But you used to love magic. That was a long time ago. Thank goodness none of you could see me then. Oh, I think I've got some old pictures somewhere. Wise old elf, did you like magic? In those days, I wasn't the wise old elf. I was a foolish young elf. We had such fun. You simply adored magic. Yes, but that was before the incident of the monkey kittens. <gasps> the monkey kittens. What happened? I think I've got a picture of that too. No. Oh, well, another time. Now for the party games. Hooray! We still have to finish hide and seek from last time. We never found Grandpapa. He's been hiding for a year. Hiding? For a whole year? Yes. He does take the game very seriously. We'll find him. Leave it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpapa, where are you? What's that? It's a shoe tree. Wow. <laughs> Grandpapa Thistle. Grandpapa. Swimming through the air. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Grandpa, papa, papa. Grandpa, papa, 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 papa. Bless me, it's the twins. You found me at last. Grandpapa. And Holly, my dear. Did I win the game? Hello, Dad. Have you really been hiding there all year? If a game's worth playing, it's worth playing right. Hello. What is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh, come on, Nanny. It's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the Elf Cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see, a supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, Elf Man. We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the Little Kingdom is freezing cold! Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> This is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. 
Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me. But I am, by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! Hurrah! We've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's OK. Arctic elves love wrapping presents. And we are... Oh, no! Arctic elves! We've brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets and cars. Not bad. Well, Doctor, can you make me better? Uh, let me see what I've got. Ah, this should do the trick. Does it taste bad? Let's just say it doesn't taste good. I'm not having it. Daddy, we all have to have medicine when we're ill. Oh. Hmm, <coughs> 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 that's interesting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, it does say cough mixture. <coughs> I know a recipe that can cure all kinds of colds, whether they be common or not. Expanding hands, itchy ears, hairy teeth, smelly noses, baldness. Ah, here it is, the common cold. I just need to find the right ingredients. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un drop de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh. Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Hmm. The king likes surprises, doesn't he? Yes. We can give the king a surprise party. But he doesn't want a birthday party. Ah, but it won't be a birthday party. There'll be music and dancing and fireworks and no one will say the word birthday. Gosh, that's very clever. It's brilliant. Come on, Ben. We need to get ready for the party. <laughs> Calling all elves. We need to arrange the king's party. Right, right on. Hello, Daddy. I've got something for you. What's this? Open it and see. I said no birthday cards. It's not a birthday card. This is just a card to say what a lovely daddy you are. Oh, thank you, Ollie. And here's a present. It's not a birthday present, is it? No, King Thistle. Are you sure? Sure. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. And here's your cake. It's not a 
birthday cake, is it? Absolutely not. This is just an ordinary cake. The taste is completely different. Oh, good. <laughs> Delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Cards, presents, cake. And this is nothing to do with my birthday? No. no. Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. There's one more surprise, Daddy. Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! Chicken's escaped! Whoa, whoa! Catch that chicken! Quick, to the elf truck! Follow that chicken. No, the clockwork has wound down. Quick, Ollie, let's wind it up. Oh, hello. Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum, I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my ch <laughs> <clears throat> No flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <clears throat> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Ooh. Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <clears throat> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way, without magic. Oh. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf Factory. Hmm, 
It was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot, only capable of going... Ah, 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 ah. Ah! Put me down, you silly robot. You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot, put the wise old elf down. Yes, bad elf. Oh, oh, very strange. I, I don't remember the Z-33 being able to talk. It's escaping! We'd better get it back. Da, da, dum, do, da, di, da. Da, da, la, la, da, dum, di, da. Da, 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 di, da, di. What a beautiful sound. Da da di dum da dum di da. Oh. Where's it gone? Ah! That sounds like Nanny Plum. Help! Help! <gasps> Robot, put Nanny Plum down. Yes, Ben Elf. Oof! Oh, thank you, Ben. What is this thing? It's just a toy robot. But it does anything Ben says. Really? Yes, watch this. Robot, clean up the courtyard. Must clean up. Must clean up. Must clean up. It's very good, isn't it? I'd like one of those to do all my cleaning. You can Must borrow my robot up. if you want. Happy no magic day, Mr Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf, nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine, of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of No Magic Day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can fix anything. And, and we're elves! There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Here are your licenses, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic license? Of course I do. Oh dear, it's expired. What does that mean? It means 
It's worthless. Can't I do magic then? No, it's against the law. No grown up fairy can do magic without a license. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. <laughs> Nanny does not have a license. She must not do magic. Yes, yes, wise old elf. But maybe we can overlook it just this once, as it's Nanny. It's because it is Nanny we shouldn't overlook it. She's dangerous. Wise old elf, I am your king and I must... Yes? Is your license up to date, Your Majesty? My license? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I... I, I w Maybe I should take a look. Uh, no need for that. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Rules are rules. What? So I can never do magic again? Of course you can. Uh, can she? She will have to go back to magic school first. Magic school? Yes, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh. Nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Mission accomplished. Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following him. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look, there's loads more of them. Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! Hold on! The little castle. Thank goodness the window's open. Hmm, bit of a draft in here. Let's close the window. Yeah, goodness me. Wise old elf, what are you? Ah, my jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in! What are you playing at? Shh! What's going on? Bees! Bees! Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees too, but it turns out they're quite useful. Shush! Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. What? We want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic. And I'm an elf. So, you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants. And I will save your planet with uh, b b magic. But wise old elf, elves don't do magic. Shh, don't worry about it, Ben. Good, we go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bong. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. Ooh. Cool. But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. 
Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me! A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no! It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK, here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah, too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nanny Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. Better than the usual stod you make me. That's because King Leopold is coming to dinner. <sighs> Have all the little children got their flags to wave? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do that for me? Because... I know, I know. I'm not King Leopold. And we need music. Where's the band? Here we are. We've been practising all afternoon. Oh, good. It's nearly time. Everybody into their seats. Cakes. Wait. Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the Queen baking again. The fudge cake glues your mouth shut. And the gingerbread is waterproof. Incredible! What can these things be made of? I want to do some tests on these cakes. This machine tests how strong things are. Let's start with something very weak, like this egg. The egg had a strength of one. Now let's try a brick. The brick had a strength of five. Now let's try the Queen's rock cake. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's reached eleven. Eleven? Nothing has gone to eleven before. Stand up, everyone. <gasps> the cake broke the machine. That cake is the strongest substance known to man. The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm. Let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf! Don't touch the fudge cake! You'll be stuck to it forever! OK, let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. What about the gingerbread? Daddy dipped it in his coffee and it stayed dry. Let's see how waterproof it is. 
Amazing! The most waterproof substance known to man. These cakes must be locked away. They must never be eaten. Not eaten, no. But maybe they can be used for something else. Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf, there's no need for you to hang around. But... But you can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or Harry Bogweed. You both know the silly plant names. So you should both take the class. Hmm. On one condition. No magic. I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So, it's agreed. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Ah, an acorn. Now... What does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, oh. It will take years and years to grow into a tree. Aww. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, please, Nanny What's going on? Bunny rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we've found my little sisters. <laughs> hop, 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 hop! <laughs> Wow! Look at all those rabbits! That one's wearing my dad's hat! Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity! They've turned all the elves into rabbits! Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! Meow! <laughs> Daisy and Puppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Birdy wordy! Birdy wordy! Treat, treat, treat! Phew! Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah, <coughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But the wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say, 
Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh! oh, it worked. Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha, I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Uh, what happened? <laughs> White old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. Yes. And it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble. Achoo! Oh, Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Ta-da! As you see, I am dressed as a pie. Why are you dressed as a pie? Gnomes love pie more than anything in the world. So, every time Mr Gnome is about to eat a blackberry, I will run in front of him dressed as a pie. Won't that be dangerous? Yes, very. That's why it's plan B. This time, I promise I'm not going to eat it. Ooh, look at that. <coughs> Silly me, I did it again. Focus, Mr Gnome. Right, this is it, no more. Oh, a blackberry. Hey there, Mr Gnome, look over here. I'm a pie. Oh, a pie. Oh, sorry, thought I saw a pie. Never mind. Here's a lovely blackberry for me. Hey, wouldn't you rather eat a pie? Ooh, yes, I would. Delicious pie. Ah! <laughs> Wait, don't eat 
me? Oh, a talking pie. That'll be tasty. I'm not a pie. I'm not a pie. Not a pie? What are you then? I'm the wise old elf. Oh, what are you doing here? Let's put you down again. Oh, look, a blackberry. Oh, here we go again. Hey there, Mr. Gnome. Look down here. I'm a pie. Oh, a pie. Oh. This is going to be a long afternoon. Where on earth can they be? It's been ages. And we can't start the harvest dance without them. Well, it looks like we can't have a dance then. <laughs> Here we are with a fruit harvest. Blackberries. What ha I can hear voices. Was loud. We'd better tell the grown ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Whoa! Like that. Oh no! The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes. Deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes. Dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. Hello? Nanny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Um, magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Palum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed. It's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Ugh. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Nanny! 
Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! Okay, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. Oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But...